It is I, hiding behind the mask. Right, look at this fine sort of aluminium, slightly weird, but it's not a mask, of course. It is a compressor mounting bracket for the Land Rover Defender 90. Now we have to, we could pretend this was our excellent idea, couldn't we, Zach? But it's not. It was Martin's idea, but he gave us the idea, but we've come up with the physical object. So we love it when you guys come up with ideas and we can help you. And one of these is on its way to Martin free for coming up with such a brilliant idea. Right, so he has got, he is, he has got a, mild hybrid electric vehicle so he has got a land rover defender 110 mild hybrid now in the mild hybrid and the 110 you have to do some imagining here because this is not mild hybrid sorry he has got a plug-in hybrid nothing mild about mine at all he has got the full ph this is mild hybrid he's got the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle which has got a hump on the floor here and it's got a big suitcase here where and he was like, I want a compressor, I want to go off-roading. Just because I'm environmental and care about the planet, that shouldn't exclude me from going adventuring. And he does do some stuff. He's got a cool camping trailer. He's got a really nice setup. Um, and he said, I, I, wanna, I want to mount a compressor, but, but you've got the, the control pack for the plug-in hybrid electric vehicles there. He's got them before he's going, so I can't. Because if you look in there, Zach, you can see, hopefully, this, this sort of blank area here is where you put the um, Land Rover compressor. And it's brilliant. And we've done the fitting video. I'll put the link there. We've done the fitting video for that. And we fitted one in our Land Rover Defender 110. But poor Martin's feeling is left out. And he scratched his head and he, he rung me and I said, I haven't got any ideas. And then he, 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 he had a eureka moment where he came up with the idea. And he said, Simon, he said, have a look in the back of your rear door. And he said, look, there's loads of room in here. This bracket's all sort of hollow. He's going, do you reckon you could buy an ARB compressor and see if there's room there? So we are going for you, Martin. Nearly got my hand stuck there. So we did buy an ARB compressor. We like ARB stuff. It's good stuff because you Australians, you know how to off-road. So and ARB is an Australian brand, and this is what you get. So the challenge is, can we fit one of these to the back door? We rose to the challenge, didn't we, Zach? Right, so what do you get with this monster ARB compressor? So you get, you get a monster ARB compressor. That is heavy. Um, so right, so this is an ARB, and this is designed to be and can be mounted on the exterior of a vehicle and you get some little air silencers, air filters that go in on there, boom, boom. Right, and then you get some wiring loom that looks way more complicated. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. Right then. And we get some switches, look. So we haven't worked out the wiring just yet. This is just, we got, now I think this is all to do with diff locks and stuff, but they seem to sell it all with the kit. And then you get, let's check this out. Instructions, they're good. Oh, well, look at the wiring on this. So one challenge we've got to work out is we've got to get this wiring. Now, it doesn't, it, it does look complicated. We've got two monster feeds here and a monster earth. And this one I think is the trigger cable. So I think all we need to do is run a battery positive and negative to this through the door hinge. And then we need to wire up a switch where we take the signal from the positive and we just enable it. And that's an enabling wire, which is the little wire. You can see him there, he's a little baby wire. In fact, interestingly, how come they've got, they've got, they're one earth there, look, that one, one of those somehow goes into two up here. It does some trickery inside the loop. But basically, I think they've just split it for current carrying capacity. So right, we've got this. Now the outlet for the compressor is, whoop, 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 up here. Right, okay, so this is, and you can take that out, and then you can get a little adapter we screw in there, and we'll have a look at that, right, and that's all that. Now this comes, and you can see, it's got a mounting plate, and in the instructions, you get a kit for mounting, and you can just, wherever you wanna mount it, you drill the holes, and you bolt that plate on, and it's got some captive nuts formed here, so they've got the nut, so you can just bolt it on from the back and you're away to go. So that's that's the challenge. Oof, 
dual motor, twin head pump. Get all of that. Right, so that is what we're trying to do. So we have worked out, and we're going to show you now what we've sort of worked out, and we think it's pretty cool. We actually worked out, but it's one of those things that worked out really well. So come this way. Bah, bah, bah. So Zach and I are going to, this is the first time we've had this wheel off our new 90. So, right, why are we putting it on our 90? We've talked about Martin and his eco plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and all credit to him for that. Um, but what about us with our 90? In the 90, space is a premium. Rear boot space is, wow. We'll say ample, shall we? Um, it's a little restrictive. So if we can mount the compressor, now there are other reasons why mounting a compressor externally is good. So it will be protected, no one's gonna steal it, and you'll see why it'll be impossible to steal unless you get access into the car because the bolts that release the spare wheel mounting bracket that it sits inside of are inside the car. So you can't steal it, it's quieter, so if you've got someone sitting in the car, but you want to be pumping up your tyres in the rain and you don't want your co-driver to get wet, then it's not going to be noisy in the car. And also cooling. Those compressors get hot. There's fins all over it. You saw the notice earlier. Caution may be hot. So mounting it outside here, it's out the weather. It's, it's, it's up high. Um, and we're also, we're also conveniently close to the rear fuse box and we can get a good hefty power supply out of that and i think we'll get away i think there's plenty of room here we're going to get away what we'll need to do is mount a switch in here we'll get a nice little switch and we'll mount a little switch here and then you can turn it on here so that people can't just use it unless you've actively turned it on um be good to link that to the ignition or something maybe not actually no we don't want to do more battery drain so We'll get that sorted. We are ready to get the spare wheel off. So we've got to take this panel here off, take this off. Don't forget, oh, look at this sack. They've done a cost down. There used to be a little rubber tray in the bottom of here. Tray no more. Just a little cheap grommet now. But yeah, don't forget you've got to do that one. Take that off and then you've got some bolts to undo. And obviously I wanted to emphasize the bolts you undo from inside the car here, which means that no one can steal your compressor from outside. Right. Zach and I are gonna get busy and we'll join you when we're stripped down. Right, so we've got that all off, we'll show you, but the plan is gonna be for that air compressor to sit on the back door and design the bracket such that this sits over it. But what we want is we want it to sit centrally so that air outlet adapter comes out the middle of this hole. But you can see it all fits easily inside that massive cavity there that is all wasted space um so that's where we're heading now we i think we're gonna have to mount this onto the bracket first aren't we zach yes. that's the plan so we're gonna mount it on the bracket so the bracket is gonna sit around these two here and then it's gonna sit and it it comes down here and then we've got a sound absorption pad that sits there but then we've got two spaces that go there and then we put the spare wheel back over it all. So that's the plan. Now, obviously you'll need to get any wire in, although you have got reasonable access through the side of there, and you've only got the one, we've got two plugs there, but they're both on enough loom, so you can worry about that later. But for this video, we're just doing the mechanical fixing. Right, let's go and bolt it up. Right, let's get this built up. So we've got the bracket, we've got the bracket this way up with these bits furthest from us. We've got the compressor with the right in um, up. We've got our pad and we'll see where that goes later. Um, and we've got the other bits of the kit. Right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over on his, on his back. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna take this. Now, the, the sound absorbers is gonna go on this side. This is the outside, facing the outside world. And the bracket is gonna go like that. Right, so we've got two sets of holes. Now, the reason we did, we wanna make it symmetric. So when they bent these, they couldn't get it wrong. But actually, on one set of holes, you'll notice that this overhangs. And that's the problem. So we've got the, you need to move it so that this, this end of the pump, as you look down, the wiring overhanging is all right. We can sort that out. And then get the M6 bolts. They might not be these exact bolts in the kit, but they'll be similar. We want to spread the load out. And we need eight of these, don't we? Yeah. Now, they did say you could use four, didn't they? But They supplied four. They supplied, that. that's it, they do. Right, so. 
but the ones they supplied in the kit were too long for this. Right, I'll tighten these up. Right, when that's all bolted up and you're flush on that side, now you can stick on this pad. Now be careful because this pad can go this way, but you'll see the holes don't line up. And if they do, it's overhanging the edge. So it's supposed to follow the perimeter exactly. Yeah, and you wanna remove the yellow side first, okay? So this is double-sided tape. When we put it on the door, that's gonna rest against the door. Right. Are we all ready, Zach? You happy with that? So we can go back to the car now and show hanging it on. Now we need to bring our two spatial washers with us. Let's head back to the car. Right, I think we're ready. We've got a two man job. So we've got Kate on the camera. Right, come on then, Zach. So I think the first job is to put the two spacer washers over the, then I think I've got to hold this. So I'm holding it in line with these top two. Now, one thing I didn't point out here was Land Rover have kindly provided us with some grommets for feeding the wires through. Look, you can take those out and get your wires through to the inside. So that is handy for your wiring. It's like they, it's like it's made for the job, isn't it? Right then, here we go. So I've got room to get my hand in here, haven't I, Zach? So if I hold that roughly in position for you, oh, this might be a tricky one. Right. Ah, but we've got to move this tape off as well. So we've got to get it, it is a, it's going to be a, a maze this isn't it all right here we go all right then i mean how do you reckon i could get it to half hold on the tape it's a bit risky but let me see if i can let me see if i can get it the we should provide a cleaning wipe shouldn't we yeah, Zach? We should. so we'll provide i'll get an alcohol wipe and clean that so it sticks nicely on there all right let's have a go let's have a go all right so if we line that up there and that one up then a little bit then a little bit let's see if we can get that through the holes are looking might have to just tweak those a bit right what's the chance of you being able to go over my head there Zach? right that's that i've, I've got that Don't do it up too tight. Let's get them all in. All right. Is that looking good? Yeah. Right. Let's get the. I'll hold it there. You get the uh, ratchet on it. Okay, so I get all the bolts in now, um, and then we'll come back and have a look. Now, one thing we may have forgotten to do, but I think we're all right, is we have to remove this plastic sheet off the compressor here. If you were cleverer than me, you'd have done that before you stuck it on the back door. I was trying to do things quickly. And then, inside there, you can see there's a plastic, that plastic bit there. I need to pull that out. Would have been easy to do it before we put it on. All right, let me just get a screwdriver and pop that out. Right, the bung is out, right? And then we need the next bit of the puzzle, which is this. And again, you, you really probably should have done this in a better order than me. So what we're after is the quick release bit. Now this goes in the, the central thing there. So there you go, you can screw that in there. Again, do this before. And you could put some PTFE tape around that to stop it leaking air. We got so excited getting it on the car. Right, and with that tight, um, that gives you a quick release. So the genius thing is, you see, it can fit there. And what that allows you to do is to, when you want your air compressor, you put your switch on the inside of the door. There we go, there you go, that's my compressor impression. And then you can just grab your, your air line and that, We'll do that. Now, bear, we'll try this with the wheel on in a second, but you've got enough room to get your fingers in there and push on the outer 
you've just got to push that sleeve back to release your air hose. So right, you've got your wiring to do and we'll leave you to do that for the minute. Now we've got to get the rest of the bolts in and we will then get the spare wheel on and we'll just have a look how it looks finally. We'll get Ben to take some pictures there so we can put it on the website and people see how it sits. Right, so there it is again. A couple of things I wanted to mention. The grommets for getting your wires through are actually in behind this bit here. And you can, there's room to get through in there. You probably can't see, but it's where my finger is here. I can touch the grommet. So root in the, with this, there's nothing gets in the way. You've got your cable root in through. You're all good. Let's just have a look inside the door for those of you that haven't seen inside the door. Um, so we've got it. This is the nuts that we're going to put on. We haven't finished putting those on. And that, that's why you can't steal it because you've got to undo these nuts to take that off. These are the lower mounting points. Um, the grommets come through. You're going to have to... Actually, one thing I haven't checked is where they come through on the inside. But you should be able to route the cables through to that. That's the inside done. Again, then you're going to have to rig up a switch somewhere up here, I suggest, where you can come up and it's just this small plastic panel. You can put a discrete switch here or here and you can have a compressor on off. Right, we're going to put the spare wheel on and then we'll show you it all sort of how it looks. And you, uh, one thing I wanted to point out also was you will, where we've got this sandwich between the door, the spare wheel does just stand off. Um, that plate is made from aluminium so it won't rust. It's not painted. Where it is, you can see, you can hardly see it. So we didn't think there was any value in painting it. We've left it as aluminium, already lightweight, three millimeter plate, Zach. Yeah, so that's a sturdy three millimeter aluminium plate. That is sipping, going nowhere. Right, let's get the wheel on. Right, one point to note is you, if you fit your wheel center, it will be hard possibly to get it out. You may be better off leaving your wheel center out, or maybe we'll have to look at some sort of more extractable plug. But let's have a look. Can we connect the air without taking the wheel off? So let's have a look in there. There she goes. All right, there you go. So that is the air just push connected in. Now, can we take can we take it out? Is going to be. Let's have a go. We may have to. I could do it with the steel wheels. All right. So you may have to resort to a screwdriver to push on the outer edge to extract it, but you could find an old twig lying around and just poke that in. Um, so there we go, that is our compressor bracket. That's gonna come as a kit with the vibration pad and the bolts, I think. And we'll we'll sell it also, we'll put the compressor on the website and put it together as a kit. But if you wanna buy the compressor locally, if you're in Australia, we'll put just the kit of the bracket and the fixings together. So there you go, ARB twin motor compressor fitted on the back of the Defender 90. Good luck.